I pray that you feel the encouragement that wraps this warning. That you'll understand why I use words like no matter what. That I call you to the standards of God and his word and I don't placate to you that which the culture would say your itching ears might want to hear. It's my loving, humble goal to help you to be the church. And I will never, ever settle for anything less. My prayer is that you'll see the relationship in this passage and really in the principle of God's word. It's it's connected in these relationships. And I, I leave you with this. That everything on your part begins with a fear of God. Now it takes his grace to give you that fear, but that's your first step. The word told us. We saw it last week. A fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Everything starts with your part at a fear of God. That's why there's so much of a mess. Most people don't have a reverent biblical fear of God. So they're off track before they even get started. But it begins with a fear of God that will be the first step towards faith in God that opens up the door to forgiveness by God that brings you into the family of God that puts you with him forever, forever with God. That's the path of Hebrews 10. I pray that you've seen it illuminated in a way that informs, inspects, and inspires you.